I'm Jenny Williams with Get a Real Estate Life, and I am here to share with you uh, 17 ways that you can get the ball rolling because um, I've just been feeling y'all out there. I've been feeling like um, maybe you're a little worried and you're a little concerned. And, uh, you know, at the same time, we always have a tale of two markets, right? We've got a market over here where one of our agents is closing 15 transactions in a month, and we've got um, uh, you know, other agents over here figuring out what happened because their phone has stopped ringing as much. So I don't want you to worry at all. Um, you know, I talked to an agent um, two weeks ago and he said, I'm not kidding. I was concerned on Monday because I only had three pendings. Y'all by Friday, he had 13. So <laughs> It can happen so quickly for you. And that's what I want you to be thinking like, okay, people out there need me. And how am I going to get in their world? Because I know that what I have to offer, and even if you are brand spanking new and you feel like you know nothing, you still have special gifts that God gave you that other people need. So um, I, that mindset is whatever situation you're in right now, and I'm going to continue to keep muting everyone um, as they join us. Um, so we're just being flooded with people coming in, which is fantastic. But no matter what situation you are in right now, and no matter how badly you might need to make a sale, you can change everything so fast. Your, your situation can change uh, quickly um, in real estate. That's one of the most beautiful things about it. But it all starts with what's going on up here. Um, so if you are worried and uh, uh, feeling discouraged and disappointment, and if you are fearful because interest rates are up, y'all, it doesn't matter. People are going to be buying and selling houses no matter what goes on with the market. So I want you to forget about that. And you know what's going to help you forget about it is a lot of productivity, a lot of action. If you get into action, then you don't have time to worry or to be fearful uh, because you're going to have so many things happening. So right now, what we're going to have to do is actually step up our game a little bit more. And we're not going to be able to like post a cute little Facebook thing and have a flood of phone calls. That's not the market that we're in right now. Um, I'm not saying not to do some of that. I'm going to give you very tactical, do this today, right now, and it's going to get the ball rolling today. So um, that's what we're here for. Um, and uh, one of the things that um, I want you to, to start with is forgiving yourself. If you feel like you are comparing yourself to other people right now um, because they're crushing it and killing it and nobody wants you, that is not true. The person crushing and kill it is just as fearful and feeling insecure as you are. So do not beat yourself up and then say, no matter what, I'm getting into action and I'm going to listen and move forward. So um, uh, the beauty about um Anytime there's a change in the market, it's all opportunity, y'all. In 2008 and 2009, uh, my veteran agents were um, super discouraged and they were fearful because they had huge debt that they had to cover. And that held them back with their mindset of being able to help other people. They started feeling like failures because they couldn't pay for their second houses. They couldn't pay for you know, their boats. They couldn't pay for uh, a lot of extra things that they thought were never going to run out. They thought income was never going to change um, and until it did. And it was abrupt. And uh, I don't want that to happen to you. We're not in that kind of market. We are not in a crashing kind of market at all. So get that out of your head. We can't even compare. But here's the beauty of that. I helped brand new agents during that time make multiple six-figure incomes because they didn't have that fear. They learned how to work the market that was in front of them. And that's what's beaut that's what is so beautiful about this business. It's opportunity everywhere. So this could be your chance when other people have been in the market a long time and they might be feeling a little bit fearful. This is your chance to get that market share. So the very first thing I want you to do, here's number one, <laughs> is to be more visible than you have ever been before in the past. Um, I need you to be um, uh, posting 
something associating you with real estate every single day on every platform that you've got. Um, uh, so whether it is a tip, whether it is um, a, a listing, whether it is you showing houses or previewing or whatever um, uh, you need to associate out into the world, people need to know that you are working. What happens anytime that there is a shift, right? People are listening to the news and they think that they think the market is dried up. They have no idea that my son made an offer and had to beat out three other people um, uh, to win it um, because people only want to hear the negative. They're drawn to it. They're sucked in by it. That's why the news focuses on it. Um, there are still multiple offers going on in the right price ranges. Do we have issues in uh, some of our higher price points? Yes, we do. We do have issues there. Um, but that doesn't mean that they're not going to sell. It means that it's going to take a little bit longer. It's going to take a little bit more effort. So um, I'm going to mute this again. Um, I know on cell phones, it's hard to mute. So um, I'm going to stay on top of that. Um, so being more visible than you've ever been before. And I want you to feel like you are being overkill. Um, and you're going to get a little uncomfortable about that. That's okay. The public needs to see it because they're going to immediately think, oh my God, are you still selling real estate? Oh, hadn't seen anything in three days, right? <laughs> I thought you must have gone and given it up and gotten another job <laughs> because that's human nature. We cannot blame the human spirit. We have to know what it is so that we can actually um, uh, move with it instead of against it. We're never going to get human nature to do what we want it to do. <laughs> So um, we have to work with it to the best of our ability. So one of the things I want to let you know here in the chat real quick is um, a class that I've got coming up next week. It's two days. If you have never had basic training um, beyond basics, things that you don't learn in real estate school, it's totally free um, because I feel like y'all need a break. And um, uh, I'm, I'm donating two full days to help you with this. Um, it is net sheets. If you feel uncomfortable doing net sheets on the fly, I, I'm going to teach you how to do that. If um, you want to know more about termite treatments and powder post beetles and fungus, and <laughs> I'm going to help you with that. We're going to learn about title problems. We're going to learn about how to protect your clients in all kinds of situations that could pop up. When you leave, you're going to have more knowledge than a five-year veteran. And y'all, many tenure agents who attended last year said, I never knew that. I never knew that. And you can't blame yourself. You cannot know everything in this business. I'm never going to know everything in this business. Every day something pops up new and fresh. And if for some reason you feel like you don't know enough to help people and that's holding you back, I need you in this class. Um, again, it's live stream or in real life. Either one you want to do, whichever way you learn better. Um, we will feed you because that's just who I am. <laughs> We're going to take care of you and make sure you're full um, while you're there. But um, the link is in the chat. Um, want to make sure that you get that so that you can attend. All right. So let's keep on going. Right. We need to be more visible than ever. Then number two, we want to think direct and we want to think personal. How can we be direct to the consumer and as personal as possible? So one of the best tips is to scroll through your social media accounts and find out, like, see who needs help with something. See who needs a personal note card if you don't have any money um, and you see that they've recently had a death. Send them a card. Send them a prayer. Um, send them food if you do have some money. Uber Eats is one of my most used um, apps and uh, things that I use in business because when people are hurting, like um, Beth, be on the lookout, right? Tanya Lee, be on the lookout because y'all are going to be getting some deliveries. <laughs> Um, let people know that you're there, like that you are seeing their pain point, that you are seeing their situation and do something to help them out. Send them something. Um, uh, everything is right there. And again, if you don't have any money, send a personal note card with a prayer in it or special thoughts or whatever they may need. Um, but you could do dinner, flowers, um, anything, the personal note card. Um, all right. Number three. Find um, a listing in MLS that would make an excellent investment property and send it by text to a minimum of 25 people. Okay, and this is what it needs to say. The text should read, have you ever thought about earning additional monthly cash flow? 
this one will bring a range of this to this if you're interested. And I, if you send it to 100 or 200, you're going to get much better traction on that situation. But that will give you an absolute what to do right now today um, because you're going to get conversations started. And you sell real estate through conversations. You have to have so many conversations in a day because you want to turn that conversation into an appointment for a listing appointment or a buyer appointment, because that's where your money is made. It's not making flyers. It's not showing houses even. It is not going to closings. Your money is made on a listing appointment or a buyer appointment. So every activity that you do to get that appointment is... Um, uh, what I'm talking about today to move that needle forward. Um, uh, again, um, Wendy just asked, uh, what does it need to say? So find, find a listing and it could be anything. And again, it's not necessarily the point to sell that one property. The point of it is to get conversations going, going, oh my God, Cindy, I was just actually talking to my husband and it, we, we really do need to get some passive income coming in because of X, Y, Z. We've got our kids going to college soon, or, you know, we really want, yes, I am recording this Teddy. Um, uh, or we want to uh, be able to retire, whatever it is, you know, I'm so glad that you brought this up. When can we get together to discuss it? And um, uh, this will work. So you find a listing, and what you say is, um, uh, have you ever thought about earning additional monthly cash flow? This one should bring a range of blank to blank, right? And um, send that link to it. And it doesn't have to be yours. It's something in MLS. As long as you're not out there posting it, you don't even have to give credit to the other agent because it is something that you were doing personal and direct and send that out to a minimum of 25 people. But if you really want traction, send it to 100, 200 people. Um, and I don't care where they live because on an investment property, they can live in another state and still be interested in purchasing whatever market you are in. Um, if it's short-term rentals and you think you can get some interest in that, then find something you feel that might work that you know would be zoned for it. It's going to be tricky if you're new because you may not know what's zoned and what isn't zoned for it. But, um, uh, you know, pay attention uh, to that. Ask around and uh, you'll get some curiosity started on that. And um, you never know. Y'all, people are hoarding money left and right. Um, over the past three years, most of my transactions have been cash. So um, don't worry or think that interest rates have anything to do with it, because if they have money sitting there, they know they're not going to earn much um, in the bank. So uh, get those conversations doing. How do you figure um, the income generation? Okay, that's an excellent question. Um, you have to go in Zillow look in Zillow and say, all right, what is the, what is the average monthly rent going to be on this? And then do some other searches to see what um, houses in that neighborhood or in that area are actually renting for. And that's all the information you need. You've got it right there. So you'll be able to say, hey, this should be able to bring in this much to this much. You can even go and calculate, Amy, um, uh, what that monthly payment would be for someone if they had a loan on it. And what I've always told people when I've trained them in investments, and, and the reason I'm telling you to go here, you can sell an investment property today. If it's attractive enough for someone and you put it in front of enough people, you could actually get a contract today on an investment property. So if you need to get the ball rolling, this is the best way to do it. You may not want to build your business around this because it may not want to be something that you're dealing with at all times, but um, I can tell you, you can actually train uh, repeat customers. Um, you know, I've had clients buy 20 plus houses, 30 plus houses for me because that were nurses and school teachers. <laughs> so once you train them how to do this, but um, then what you're going to do is look at the difference. I've always told Amy, like, you have to have a minimum of $300 positive cash flow per month for this to even make sense for you. You may think that's low, but that is actually the average. Um, so it does take a lot of rental properties, but what you have to factor in is they get um, uh, so much more benefit on their taxes and on depreciation and depreciation. So there's a lot more to it than just what they're making um, extra 
um, like that 300. Now on a short term rental, you can actually make a lot more um, per month on those. So people may um, uh, be even more interested on that. Just be careful um, about the zoning issues with that. You don't want to get anyone in trouble with that. All right, are we rolling? <laughs> You can put anything in the chat that you want to. I love that um, y'all are uh, uh, asking me great questions. And uh, again, I want stuff that will turn into business today for you. And that's what I'm focused on giving you. So um, the next thing, what are we going to do? Oh, some of the um, apps that you can use to hit multiple people up by text are called Hit Em Up. If you're on my top tier at EXP, you know that I use this to communicate with y'all. Um, any class that I've got going up, I've got all of you saved in a database and I can go click, 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 click. And uh, you'll get the same message without me having to look individually up or without me putting you in one of those horrid, awful group texts that drive me completely insane. I have high blood pressure anyway. And when I get in a group text with someone that sends a million messages, it really puts me over the edge. So I do my best not to do that to y'all. So hit them up is something that you can do. And let's say you've got a database of 400 people which I love that, by the way. Um, Joy's got a database of about 400 people she's put together, and that is gold. That is worth so much money. That is worth multiple six figures right there. Um, beautiful thing if you take your time to actually do that. But you could actually do, if you have that many people, we've got another program that we use called Textedly. And Textedly um, can send all of those people one text um, and one message. Now, you have to get people used to that that, hey, it is you because it will come from a number that is not yours. Um, so you have to make sure you are in the subject line. Special message from, you know, Cindy Emerson. Special message from Brian Booth. Special message from Vicki Harris. Um, so that they won't delete it or opt out or, you know, think that it's spam. So here we're going on with the next thing. Number four, um, do a video for all of your social media platforms. And um, we still have lots of people that keep popping in, which is great. Um, do a video for all your social media platforms that says home sellers. I have cash buyers who buy properties without prep work. You won't even have to clean it. And they pay top dollar. If you'd like to see what your house would sell for today, message me. Um, you could be on your next adventure in two weeks. If you did a video on all of your social media platforms saying that, and I know what you're going to say next, but I don't have any cash buyers. Y'all, if you have the opportunity to do that, you can let somebody know um, what somebody would pay for it. And all you have to do is put that out to some other investors. If you don't have any, if you have no clue who would buy them because you just got your license, then all you have to do is ask me. <laughs> And we will connect with um, a lot of people um, that do pay cash for these types of properties and see what we've got going. They may not want to. Um, there you go. See, I have cash buyers. Call me. Izzy's like, I got you. Right. Like, I will help you. So your job is to line up the situation with the property that needs to be sold. If people will show interest in that, then you've got a team of support behind you one way or another that will come in and help you get that property done. You are not lying to these people. So um, that one will cause your phone to ring immediately. Is that what we're here for, right? Yes, we're here to get this ball rolling. We're here to get something going today. So um, number five, go to a networking event. Figure out what's going on this week. If you like go sub at a BNI, go to a chamber event, go to a charitable organization, wear your name tag and meet a minimum of 20 people while you're there. Okay. Do not talk about you on this situation of this event. Wear your name tag. They're going to see that, but get to know 20 people. Ask them what their goals are and make their conversations quick. What we tend to do is because we feel so uncomfortable in these situations, we latch on to one person. And we talked to them the whole time because they were friendly or kind to us. Um, you want to get and then put their names in your phone and you can either do it in notes where you've learned all you've met all of these people 
um, at this one event and you can follow up with them after the event. And that's when you start asking about real estate. You can even use the whole, hey, I don't know if you've ever thought about investments, right? Because people love already they're associating you with what's going on and benefiting them by increasing their monthly cash flow. You see where I'm going with this? Is and is it making sense? Give me some feedback in the chat, y'all. Thank you, Joel. All right. And you know, I talk fast because I just want to get it all out and you need meat, potatoes. And uh, <laughs> that is my specialty, although eat dessert first because life's too short. Um, all right, so now we are uh, going on. All right, so on that networking thing, the one thing I want you to follow up with um, is uh, uh, you could send them that or you could say, hey, it was so nice to meet you. I'm super excited about your goals that you want to do this year. Um, let me just share with you. I'm looking for three sellers who need to get their property sold in the next 60 days. Who can you think of? Right, because you listen to them you made them important. You didn't talk about yourself and you followed up with a question where you're asking for help now. So again, we need that phone to ring right away. So um, let's go in to number six. Okay. Post a new listing each day on social media. Um, this, it, this works because people are going to think it's yours. If you don't have a listing, ask a colleague if you can post theirs. And normally if you have someone in your same company, they're happy to do it. Just put a little, you know, courtesy of them um, in the mice type below. And uh, most people are still gonna think that it's your listing, but that's how you get people to start reaching out to you and asking more questions. Here's a little tip right now. If you want a lot of people to be reaching out to you, don't put high dollar stuff out there. High dollar stuff won't get the phone to ring. That'll get people looky looing on you going, oh my God, you know, they want to dream about it. But if you put something that is in, you know, close to the average or below average of what's going on in your market, that's when people are like, where's this? I need to see this. You know, that is where you're going to get the phone ringing. So um, let's see, if you are in that photo that you're posting, like if you do a cover, um, a, a template of uh, check out this new listing on the market or, you know, when you want to live in this neighborhood and you are in like your photos in that cover template, um, that gives you extra points because people will be associating with real estate. Or if you actually do a selfie with you in front of the property and you uh, said, hey, take, take a look at this. These are the things I love about this house. Um, uh, would you want to see it? then those are going to actually be better than taking a link from your website and putting it out there um, because it's associating you with selling real estate. What's the best app for professional templates? Um, uh, great question. And so, um, Wendy, I've got a graphic designer that he'll, she'll charge you $10 um, to create your little template on that. But you can do that in Canva as well if you want to do it yourself. So um, I have a form that you can fill out for our graphic designer to do that for you. And she's you know, pretty quick. You'll have to have your photos and all that good stuff ready and tell her exactly what you want. But um, she'll get it back to you right away. And it's $10. And y'all, I love Canva and um, uh, the form is already pinned, um, Chris, in our Facebook group, but um, I will send it to you after this. And uh, if Sarah's on here, she could, um, but I think she had to run um, uh, and do something next, but um, I'll get it to you um, because looking up links while I'm doing this will totally throw me off. <laughs> There we go. Thank you, Sarah. See, she's like, here's the form right here. Y'all, if you need anything, click on this form. Our graphic designer will put it together for you. It's 10 bucks. You can Venmo me on that. And uh, I pay her um, by the hour to work for us, you know, all week long. So um, you have help. You don't have to sit and learn um, Canva. Um, all right. So on to the next thing. Um, all right, number seven, um, uh, send a personal video text to each person in your sphere of influence. And the video should say, hey, I hope you're doing well. And you know, I'm going to use all of y'all's names. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lisa, I hope you're doing great. Listen, I'm on a mission right now. I need three sellers. Um, I've got buyers lined up 
there's still such low inventory on the market right now. I need, I'm looking for three sellers. Can you please help me out with this? Who can you think of that needs to sell their house in the next 60 days? And you know, I use that as my magic question because you have to have a sense of urgency. You can't just say, oh my gosh, if you just like think of anybody like for whenever. No, I need you to take action right now, Lisa. I need you to be thinking about it. Who have you been to church with? Who have you been talking with on Facebook? Who have you seen that needs to move? Like I need help because I need to help these buyers and that will actually get people helping, right? That that like breaks their, <clears throat> um, uh, the way that they're thinking about things, their mental patterns and they're, they get in and they wanna help you too. So um, yeah, girls, Charlie Brown, Dennis the Menace and Alice Wonderland. <laughs> That's right. But if you send a personal video text to each person in your sphere of influence, that may take you a long time to do, but it's it's very direct. Like it's going to make Joel feel like, hey, I'm reaching out to Joel. It's not a mass um, message. And Joel gets to see me and it doesn't take up long conversations. Um, and, you know, if they don't have time to take a look at it now, like I'm not interrupting their day. I am just um, uh, asking for help on a mission to get this stuff done. So um, these are all things that'll get your, your phone. Um, by the way, on that event, don't go to an agent event hoping that you're going to um, get some business from that because you're not, unless you go to an agent event in another market and they can send you. Um, let's see, what if you haven't? What if you haven't, what? I'm sorry. Wendy, if you want to retype that, oh, talk to them in a while. You know what? Even better. Make sure you say that. Wendy, oh my God, I have not talked to you in so long. Like how did eight, <laughs> I'll give you a perfect example. Joy has somebody the other day she hadn't talked to you in eight years. <laughs> how did eight years fly by? I feel like I talked to you yesterday. Like, oh my God. <laughs> um, I hope you're doing great and I can't wait to keep catch up with you. Um, but let me tell you what I'm on a mission to do right now. I, I've got buyers, they need houses and uh, we just don't have enough in MLS right now. Can you please help me out? I'm seriously looking for three sellers, at least three sellers um, that need to sell their house in the next 60 days. Who can you think of? Call me back, let's get together, et cetera, right? Like you're being genuine. Um, so hoping all that helps. Now let's go on to the, the next thing. So, um, Number eight, okay, this is how Richard Eaton gets his business, and y'all, he is covered up with listings, and um, he calls expired listings, 